Simpson asks, should I turn off evaporator fan in cold room to maintain target temperature as long as possible after compressor off when reach target temperature? Um, well, yes and no. And the reason I say yes and no, I'll just clean all that off. Is if we've got our cold room, and again, we look in bird's eye view on top of our cold room, we've got our door, we've got our um, evaporator here blowing out uh, you know, that way. Um, challenge. Actually, that's a really bad drawing. Let me just uh, let me just alter that a little bit a minute. Um, we'll do a different one. We'll have our evaporator like that. So we're blowing air around our cold room, coming back to our evaporator. Now, I think in in one of the seminars that I did, our true cold room temperature should be measured by return air. So we can have our uh, sensor, you know, in that area. Yes, it can be up here. It can be at the back of the cooler, so long as we're measuring the return air onto the cooler. Now, when we reach temperature, um, oh, so we're temperature satisfied, let's say we want zero degrees C, everything turns off, great. If we turn our fan off totally, then we don't get any air movement over the product. So we're just relying on the natural convection of that air coming back, hitting our thermostat and saying, it's a little bit warm again, start the refrigeration system. If you keep your fan running all the time, then you're getting good air, air circulation across the product and it will tell you when your cold room is getting a bit warm again. Fantastic. Challenge, evaporator fan gives off heat energy into the cold store. Now, in case of a you know small butcher's cold room, not a lot of energy. If you've got a large cold store, big fans, um, you know kilowatt fan, whoa, um, you're putting a lot of energy into your cold room, and that energy has to be removed by the refrigeration system. So you can get control systems now, and I have to mention the uh, the Danfoss Adaptcool uh, equipment. So I've worked on that for, for many, many years. Basically, what you can do is when you achieve temperature, you can pulse your fans. So let's say one minute every five minutes. So that will run for one minute every five minutes and they will blow the air around the store. So you get that air circulation to your um, thermostat. So that's the best way to do it. Obviously, it depends on the control system and the cost and, and all the rest of it. But if you've got a lot of evaporators, a lot of uh, fan motor heat, it's uh, you know the, the best solution. But small small cold room, for me, I just leave the fan running. Um, would be my opinion. <laughs>